Bow, bow, bow. What's good, buddy, man? It's your boy, Kitty Chow. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, man, with a brand new video. If you're new, go ahead. You know what to do. Click that subscribe button right now. Road to 100K, ladies and gentlemen. We got a different kind of video today, man. A lot of times we do basketball, but this time we got some NBA drama. Coward! Jalen Brown checks Stephen A. Smith face-to-face -face for slander on ESPN First Take and rips Nike. Let's get into it. Um, this all kind of happened on your platform. I mm -hmm. want to send a message to mm -hmm. you. And I basically wanted to say that I think it's cowardice. Ooh. Man, man, man. So in today's video, we got to highlight Stephen A. Smith getting checked live to his face by Jalen Brown, man. Jalen Brown getting checked down is with crazy. Stephen A. Smith on his podcast, The Stephen A. Smith Show. And Jalen Brown confronted Stephen A. for some things that Stephen A. Smith said about Jalen Brown live on ESPN First Take. If you guys missed that, we did do a video on that. But let's check it out right here again, just in case we guys missed it. Here's the video. Jalen Brown, it's not so much that he's underrated. It's that he's just not liked because of his, quote, I am better than you attitude. He mm. knows it. It's the same reason he is not as marketable as he should be. Mm. That's what an NBA source just sent me. I don't know that to be the case. I like Jalen Brown. I know a lot of people that like Jalen Brown. So that's what Stephen okay. A. Smith had to say about Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown responded back to Stephen A. Smith. Jalen Brown responded back to Stephen A. Smith, and he also started trolling Stephen A. Smith with this State Your Sources shirt, as you guys can see right here. Stay and before Jalen Brown crazy. linked up to confront Stephen the A. Pettiness. Smith, he had made Stephen A. Smith put the State Your Source shirt on right here, as you guys can see. This is a photo of Stephen A. Smith and Jalen Brown. So let's get into Jalen Brown checking uh -huh. Stephen A. Smith live to his face on his podcast, The Stephen A. Smith Show. Let's check out the clip right here. Is it your emotions for me when you learned, A, you were not going to be one of the 12 selected on Team USA, mm -hmm. and B, despite the fact that three of your teammates was on the team, <laughs> two of them who spent 82 games a year deferring to you, and one, obviously, Jason Tatum, uh, who it was a year came here a year later, but this is the three time first team all NBA over the last three years. What was that like for you? The emotions? Yeah. It was a lot. Mm. Um, honestly. And a lot of the stuff that we just talked about, I feel like delineates into the same conversation. Mm -hmm. But I'll say this. Um, I look at the, our global game and Europe is closing the gap. Mm -hmm. I believe that we should focus more on our development of our youth and grass and grassroots. And I think sports, um, I think shoe companies should have less control over the industry Ooh. right now. And I was one of those kids, you know, I was a top player. Number one, actually you came to one of my high school games. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I was a top player in high school and I, you know, and it was so much to deal with, you know, Nike, Adidas, like going to Adidas school, going to a Nike school. Um, and the kids should just be focusing on development. And I think in 2028, if I have to sign to Nike to increase my likelihood to play USA basketball, I'll pass. Why? One, I think that, uh, I think the essence, like you see it in our grassroots, um, kids, instead of enjoying the essence of basketball are like forced to pick a side mm -hmm. and protect that. Sure. Um, so to start off, I wanted to ask you a question. Sure. And profession aside, profession aside, you know, as a as the number one reporter mm -hmm. with the biggest platform yes, sir. in the world, I, I, I hold you accountable. Right. Please so, do. Is there ever any dissension from what you report on as a man? I mean, what you report on as a reporter mm -hmm. and then what you stand for as an individual? Mm -hmm. Like when you go home, is there ever any dissension in the decisions that you make? Well, for the most part, no, because I find myself to be humane and fair, but in the same breath, when we take this example, let me use this example that you're talking about with what I said was text to me about you. And by the way, others had said it as well. I wasn't talking about how I feel. You and I have been cool for years. You've always been good to me. 
And immediately after the show, I got three separate phone calls. And they were like, yo, this guy is not liked by some of the powers that be mm -hmm. because he's smart because he's outspoken, because he's principled and he's defiant and he's not easily manipulated, these are things that are costing him. I didn't look at it as something that was smearing your character. Mm. I looked at it as individuals basically pointing out that you're not liked and I completely understand why folks who are in positions of power and decision-making positions you wouldn't like somebody because they usually don't like folks that are principal. What I was asking was, is there a dissension but what you perform, what you report on, and also how you carry yourself as an individual and as a man? Like, how do you differentiate the two? But to be honest, I'm gonna come clean. Sure. Like, I wanted to have this conversation, but honestly, I couldn't wait <laughs> to address this unnamed right. source. Right. <laughs> I know they probably will be watching this because mm -hmm. people like that mm -hmm. are always watching. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to let them know that I had a great summer. Mm -hmm. Like just as simple as that. Like I traveled the world, I went to Umrah. Um, I won two MVPs. I, you know, launched Black Wall Street in Oakland mm -hmm. and made a music video. I had a blast. Right. So I wanted to let them know that I had a great summer. I really wanted to address them directly, but I feel like since um, this all kind of happened on your platform, I mm -hmm. want to send the message to mm -hmm. you, to them. Right. Because you only the person that knows who the source is. Mm -hmm. And I basically wanted to say to them that I think it's cowardice. I think historically unnamed sources have attacked some of our greats. Mm -hmm. And I slash we are not responsible for what they lack in design. Um, frankly, they can call all their buddies, they, they, they pals and you know friends from all over the world, all the unnamed sources, and, and they can shove it where they got it from. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so that's what Jalen Brown had damn. to say in front of Stephen A. Smith, live to his face. If you guys think about it, bro, with the, the journalists now, like the Stephen A., the Shannon Brown, um, I mean, I, I get uh, it, it's just so weird with podcasts now because these reporters can get now get checked like if Skip Bayless had a podcast. Oh, my God. He would get checked all the time. Face man. And I like Jalen Brown. You know, he stand on principle. And as you can see, a principal man, he will come confront you about your sources, mm. even though Stephen A. Smith, of course, he's not going to name his sources and whoever is texting him and talking trash about Jalen yeah, Brown. Not. But I like the fact that Jalen Brown did come confront Stephen A. Smith and said that, okay, well, now I got to talk to you through your sources. Yeah. And I like the fact that Jalen Brown made it clear that these unnamed sources are very cowardly. I like that he has said that because like Jalen Brown said, he's going to talk to Stephen A. Smith like Stephen A. Smith is these quote unquote sources that he has. So Jalen Brown is calling those guys cowards, but not coming out and putting a name on it. But these guys can continue to slander his name and then use Stephen A. Smith's platform, large platform, mind you. First take has been number one for 12 years. And then like Jalen Brown was saying, also on his podcast that is co continuing to grow right now. And yeah, man, so Stephen A. Smith repeating what these unnamed sources is saying, that does not help Jalen Brown in the case, especially if he's up for like contract negotiations or, you know, he got snubbed to be on Team USA because they started talking about that instead of talking about Jalen Brown's basketball credentials. They just made it about all of these unnamed sources and what Stephen A. Smith said about them. Because now Stephen A. Smith using his platforms to give these unnamed sources the light of the day to talk about athletes that can hurt these athletes in the long run. And that's what Jalen Brown was trying to ask Stephen A. Smith, like as a man and as a journalist, do you know when to just have some type of integrity at what you're reporting you know if it that is so true but that is the that is the downfall not the downfall there's the pros and cons of everything y'all like you got we all know there's pros and cons of everything that's why some athletes are nikes that's why some athletes are adidas so that's why you know but at the same time as a reporter what stephen a smith's job is to do is to report news a lot of the time that news is not good Unless you are a high, high up superstar. Even then, they will report bad news on you. But 
who doesn't like drama? Who doesn't want drama, right? So we're always going to want dramatic news. And Stephen A. Smith is going to provide that. At the same time, he is not going to release his source because if he does, he's not going to get these bad news no more. Um, and yeah, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's really a, a seesaw lose lose situation, in my opinion. Um, let me know what you guys think about that, man. If it's an unnamed source. How about you not do that live on ESPN First Take or in your podcast? So I agree 100% with Jalen Brown. He didn't deserve that, in my opinion, especially yeah. somebody that's not problematic. You know, if it was a problematic athlete, if there was one of these guys is getting in trouble or True, one of these like guys is causing on. issues in the locker room, I can understand why Stephen A will want to use his platform if it's an unnamed source to come out and say like, yo, hey, we've been hearing that this guy is a problem in the locker room and this is why certain things are not happening. But the fact Stephen A. Smith said out his own mouth that like, yo, I like Jalen Brown. You know where we stand. You good on the court. You good off the court. There's no issues with you there. So that's why Jalen Brown is asking Stephen A. Well, then why are you reporting this about me? It's it's, it's a lose lose situation, bro. I'm telling you, man. It, it, I that's my genuine opinion on it, bro. I mean. Stephen A. Smith is going to be the bad guy. That's his role. He's going to be reporting these negative news. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no loyalty and friendship when it comes to news. Um, but yeah, man, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Other than that, man, be sure to go subscribe to the channel. We out this there. Peace.